Today we're going to be talking about Labradorite. And look at this thing. Come on. Woo! Look at that. That is just brilliant. Definitely, if you get a nice enough specimen, you are going to have major flash and pizzazz. <laughs> look at this thing. And they are beautiful when they're polished like this. Just the way the light hits it. And this is just me inside. If you get the sun on this thing, wow. I mean, it's just brilliant. But look at the colors. Look at the flash. Awesome. Just a beautiful, beautiful crystal or mineral specimen. <laughs> just beautiful. So let's talk about Labradorite. When you talk about Labradorite, you have to think of one word. One word for me comes into mind, magic. When you think Labradorite, think magic. That's the best way. It is absolutely magical. Absolutely. Now, you want psychic abilities. You want all those cool little tidbits of psychic powers and working with your third eye chakra and your crown chakra, all that higher stuff. This is the perfect one. And it actually, it coincides with the three higher chakras, which is um, your throat, your brow, which is your third eye, and your crown. It's, it's focused on those three, and it's awesome to work with, very easy to work with, and very common where you could find this locally, um, crystal shops, everybody has Labradorite. And Labradorite is just one of those where, how do you not like it? I mean, seriously. Now, here's another one. Not as flashy, not as much crazy flash as the other one I have, but it's still um, just a cut, polished little piece. Easy to work with. Easy to hold. I mean, they, they this comes in polished spheres. It comes in... Um, gemstones where you can put them around your neck and wear them, necklaces, everything is out there. But to find those really, truly mystical pieces, and let me show you another one here. They're out there. And here's, here's one which, let me show you this one real quick because it's got all the awesome flash. But this is a raw piece. And you can see it's not as flash and pizzazz when it's not cut and polished so most of the time when you find a piece of labradorite in a crystal shop or wherever it's going to be cut and polished because they want to sell you on the you know the shine the shimmer but again it's worth it it's just beautiful <laughs> absolutely beautiful so when you think magic you think harry potter you're going to hogwarts magical that's Labradorite. Labradorite's awesome. And one of the best things, the, the easiest way I could explain this, let, let me rephrase that. The easiest way I can explain this is Labradorite magical and it, it's going to illuminate you from within. Think of it that way. Now, think about Inside of your mind, all the deep, dark recesses, all the stuff hiding in there, all the stuff that you don't even know is there. This is your flashlight. I view Labradorite like a flashlight. Now, here's the way to think about it. Let's pretend you're in your house and inside of this house, that's the inside of your mind. If you have a flashlight, you will be able to flip that light on once in a while. And when it flashes briefly, you are going to see something within your mind. What? We don't know. It could be anything. It could be you flashing and seeing something from your past. Um, it could be something that is from a past life. It could be something... Um, your guides want you to know about it. It could be, it could be anything. And that's, what's so cool is you're not going to just flip the light on and see everything and look around and be like, 
oh, okay, yeah, I could see this and that. Nope. The illumination part, when you view this like a shimmer, think of it like that flashlight clicking on and clicking off. Clicking on, you're only going to see little bits, little pieces of what's inside of your mind kind of hiding. And that's what makes it so mystical, so magical. You might pick up on a childhood memory when you flick that light on real quick inside your mind, and then that light goes out. It's very difficult to keep the light on constantly. But when you sh use this, think of it like that. You're going to have little moments where if you're working with this and you're holding it, you're meditating with it, you're using its energy, it's going to show you little glimpses of all those little hidden dark spots inside of your mind and illuminate them briefly so you can see them and then be able to think about what you just saw and work with that. And it's great for what they call shadow work when you kind of go a little deeper into yourself and try to get to know yourself a little better and figure out uh, some people work on past life, uh, what, you know, remembering things, stuff even from this life hidden, um, stuff from otherworldly type stuff. You never know what you're going to get, but your mind is infinite. So when you flick this light on, who knows what you're going to see? And then you, it's up to you to kind of decipher it. That's the magic of Labradorite. And that's why I personally love it. You never know what you're going to get with it. Um, let me show you another one. This is probably one of the bigger specimens I have. It's a point, probably about a foot tall, I'd say, and another beauty. But you get something like this. And it doesn't have to be a monster point like this either. But if you leave it near your bed, I've had awesome, awesome experiences. I remember I have, it's, I still have it somewhere. It's a Labradorite sphere. And when I first started working with it, I'm going way back. I didn't know what to expect. I don't go into working with crystals and minerals like, reading about them all and trying to figure out what other people say. I go into them with what I come out with. So if I work with something, I base it on my own experience. So I put it near my bed and I, the very first night I had crazy vivid dreams. And the next night I had a lucid dream. The next night after that, I had another lucid dream. And now I'm thinking, this definitely has to do with Labradorite. Now, eventually, I don't know if... It seems like if you work with them something enough, it kind of infuses your energy body with the energy, and it kind of... It doesn't dampen it, but I guess you could say dampen it. And the lucid dreams kind of stopped, but in the beginning, holy smokes, I was like, what is going on? I'm having crazy vivid dreams, lucid dreams, and it all had to do with Labradorite. And this just illuminates you from within and gives you all types of hidden messages. Just think of this like that flashlight. You're just going to flip that flashlight on inside your mind and see some crazy stuff. Here's another one. This is a monster piece of Labradorite. Look at the flash on this sucker. Woo! Wow. But when I think Labradorite, I think magic. I think psychic abilities. I think crazy lucid dreams. I see, and it just energizes your imagination. It gives you great new ideas, creativity. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. But you have to think, think of this like that flashlight, that flicker, where if this is where you don't see anything, everything's pitch dark. Boom! There's your flashlight on. Just that little flicker is enough to show you some cool stuff inside of your mind. Definitely work with Labradorite. It's very easy to work with. Like I was saying, I, I, I just simply sat a sphere next to my bed and had crazy experiences. So I would highly recommend working with this. Highly recommend it. Very easy. Something that you could get right into real quick. 
and you don't have to like meditate in some crazy yoga pose and uh, you know do anything crazy. Just put it next to your bed or sleep uh, sleep with a palm stone or something, and you should be having experiences right out of the gate. And definitely, I would love to hear about your experiences. So please, I, I mean, I love hearing about all that kind of stuff. It's awesome because it definitely affects people differently, but I would love to hear about them in the comments. Um, I just wanted to also thank everybody. Um, I'm getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. Very new channel. I just started this in early March of 2022. So everything is going great. And once I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing giveaways and I can't wait. I really can't wait. That's going to be so much fun to do a giveaway entry and have some people receive some awesome specimens kind of like this where you're going to get something really awesome for free. Not just little tiny little trinket stuff. I'm going to do some awesome stuff. So hope you had fun watching this video and uh, learned some stuff. And we will see you guys next time. Um, also, real quick, I sell a lot of this stuff in my Etsy shop. Check it out. I have the link in the description. And see you guys next time.